Hey guys, what is going on? I am Mr. Bo, and today we're going to be doing some challenges on Buried. And the first challenge we're going to be doing in this video is called the... I'm going to call it the One Gun Challenge anyway. And it was uh, suggested by Undead Game of Vids. And it's basically to drop down to the box. Um, once I have enough money to buy the box, i obviously buy it. And the first weapon I get is the weapon that I've got to use for the rest of the game. And then if it runs out of ammo... Um, I have to go and pack a punch it, or at least wait until I max ammo. So we're gonna get enough points. I can go get the chalk actually, and then we will get a box and see what we get. Obviously, if it's a time bomb or a monkey bomb, I can't really use that or the paralyzer because I've got unlimited ammo. But we will see what we get. Hopefully, it's nothing too bad, and it's not the ballistic knife. Okay, so we're going to be using the M12 for the rest of this game. And we're just going to be seeing how far we can get. Uh, I haven't actually ever pack punched this gun. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like. Uh, I will obviously try and get Juggernog and stuff like that. Uh, we'll go free him now. Just so that when I can get Juggernog, I can go and get it quickly. Hopefully... I can last a while. Also, if you have any other challenges you'd like me to do, feel free to comment them down below. Or just any videos in Buried. All about zombies. Okay, now, where's the last zombie? There's the beer in there again. So I'm going to go and uh, get the booze so I can um, open up Jurgenog. I'm not going to be really worrying about opening that area up quite yet, just because you know I'm oh, I can't buy that. No need to rub my nose in it. Mm. Mm. I don't know where this last zombie is. Oh, I can hear him breaking a window. Is he up here? I suppose I'm not done looking for parts just yet. No. Where's the zombie? <laughs> Good way to start a challenge. I've lost the zombie. I can hear him. And I can hear him like breaking windows. Okay, well, let's run down here. Oh, the, well, wrong gun, my bad. Right. Well, I didn't tell me I have to buy it. Oh, it's there. Cool. Alright, let's go and open Jogginog. <coughs> Come here, mate. Actually, we can get more points if I plan this up correctly. Uh, about there, please, mate. And then he's, he's not gonna. I don't want to go down so early. Okay, well, now drugs open. We can go and buy that. I don't reckon I'm going to be lasting that long just because it's this gun. And it's going to be a bit of a pain trying to get through the house with this gun. So if I do get through there with at least some money, then um, that'll be I can pack them on straight away. But if I don't get it, then I'm going to have to uh, camp there for a while. And it's only round two and the zombies are being fairly slow. Or worse, we're waiting for this uh, zombie. You could, uh, there he is. You give this video a like, it really helps out. And we're gonna head straight back up here. I can hear the zombie breaking in again. See, what I usually do is I usually um, 
camp up in the top room for maybe uh, two or three rounds. Uh, you can try and get the Elsa. Um, it's a pretty decent weapon. Uh, I like that they sort of added that, you know, if you want you can get a good weapon to begin with. Uh, only one person can get it, so it's kind of a race. Um, if you're in a team of like four on a public match, I usually just run and grab onto the bridge and bring it straight down so no one can get the weapon. Makes the game a bit fairer. <coughs> so we will uh, go and get. Now we're going to get Juggernaut. Now I don't know if I'm able to spin the box again to try and get monkeys or a time bomb. Um, he didn't really state in the challenge description. <coughs> but I suppose I could ring, uh, ring, uh, use the box, and uh, if it's a weapon, I just don't pick it up. If it's a monkey, then I can pick it up. So we do that. Uh, we don't have the power on. Uh, easiest way to get the power without spending any points. This way. Now, what I've seen which is pretty cool is um, you can actually complete the Easter egg for either Maxis or Toffins by about round three. Is this guy not going to die? By round three, which is kind of crazy to think about it. Um, so you can get around to the rest of the map um, in round one. Um, apparently, you can get to the uh, ghost house uh, without even opening that barrier. You can like uh, jump over the fence or something. <coughs> so we're gonna head up here. Hopefully there's no zombies here. Starting to run out of ammo. Gonna go like that. Um, oh, I actually went the wrong way. It doesn't matter. We'll open the door in a minute. I don't know how I'm going to be able to end this round if um, I don't have any ammo. So, well, now we know how we're going to be able to get through this round. Okay. We will leave. Oh, shit. Don't want to go down quite yet. I've only been playing seven minutes, eight minutes. Okay, well, <coughs> let's go do some stuff quick. Yeah, open this up. Uh, grab this. Uh, we go through here. We're wrong place. Uh, where am I going? Power. Drop through there, that's cool. 